friends, welcome back. I'm in my car, I just got to work. I don't know what's in the air, there's something going on. People are insane today driving, so I'm glad I'm here. I got my breakfast to go, and I'm ready for another productive day. My sister-in-law's already in the studio though, so she's working away. Today I've got more body butters that I'm making. I'm making bath bombs today, and then I thought it would be fun. I'm actually working on doing a room spray, and I'm pretty much there with the recipe, but I thought it might be fun to show you guys some of the packaging. I usually have all of my uh, packaging professionally done, but with my candles, they came out so good and I did them myself, and the room sprays are gonna match them, so I think I'm just gonna show you guys how I do that. I use Canva, so it's super simple, and I feel like some of the techniques that I have, I'll share with you, are really good for kind of upping your label game. Uh, not that I'm a graphic designer at all, but Canva definitely makes me feel a little bit more confident in doing that. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of different stuff today, but I am just excited to spend another day with you guys in the studio, so let's get to it. Also, it's an absolute mess in here. So I put my poor sister-in-law over here to label today. So we're gonna get it straightened out, but this is not my ideal situation to walk into. And I rarely ever do this, but basically it's because I made more body butter and I had to let it cool overnight. So that's in here. So we'll take care of that and do this first. And then I have to um, clean, re-sanitize and all that and make more bath bombs today. But yeah, empty shelves means plenty of bath bombs to make. body butters going uh, on right now melting that down so I've now made three big master batches of body butter this week which is about 300 jars I think was my plan so I'm feeling super accomplished at least with that category my sister-in-law just left let me show you all the labels I know I sort of sneak peeked them in the last vlog but they're really coming together and I want you to see like what they look like on a shelf so we put them here for now, but these are the ones that we've completed so far. Some of them are new scents, others are just remakes, but they have, we have the larges and the smalls. So I made about eight larges of each, or I guess with this one I made 10. I was not counting properly, so that's that. Um, anyway, it's a good seller, so I'm not too worried about it, but I'm just really happy with the packaging because it's just so much more professional. Just wanted to show you what we've been up to today because we've been a little quiet filming, but that's that. Um, one more batch of body butters and I'm making all three new scents for spring. So we're going to let that cool overnight though. So I'm not going to make those today. And then it's raining outside, which is not great for bath bomb making. Um, the humidity in here was at 60% because we had the door open for a little while, which was not smart thinking on my part but anyway so i actually am running my dehumidifier which i haven't run in all winter it's super dry so it should it is, it's already come down five percent so i'm gonna let that do its thing and get the air in a better spot so i can make some bath bombs and 
yeah i'm desperate for a coffee because it is raining it's one of those like slow drip rain days that's just kind of dreary so i'm gonna make myself a coffee and get into the afternoon and continue to be super productive not expecting to be here as long as I was but I just needed that body butter to come down to a temperature I could put the preservative in I just did that and I put the, the pot on the lid I put the lid on the pot and I'm good to get wrapped up so I feel like I had a pretty productive day here but it's time to go home to Lucy and I still want to show you guys the Canva uh, little demo tutorial kind of situation of how i'm gonna do the labels for my room sprays so i'm gonna pack all my stuff up and head home got into some comfy clothes because it is so dreary and chilly and rainy out and it is just like it feels like winter again but i wanted to make sure i showed you guys the room spray so i haven't talked about this yet i am testing for room sprays so i just launched my candles like I don't know, two weeks ago, and they're doing really well, and I had some requests from a few retailers for room spray. I personally have like never used a room spray. Um, I have one that I bought a while ago, but I still have yet to use it, and um, I'm slowly like getting addicted to this now that I made this. I made this yesterday, actually, and I sprayed my car, I sprayed around Lucy's bed, I sprayed in here, and it's just, it's so nice. I really do like the frosted bottle. I'm gonna have a clear one for my body oils, and it would probably be better to streamline and do both, but I kind of like the frosted one, especially if this is my candle. Um, I think it'll just be kind of nice. This one smells so good. Okay. I get distracted. I should light that because I always love to light a candle at home. Anyway, so the labels that I did for my candles, I printed out myself. I got the labels from onlinelabels.com. They're like a square label. I can't remember the size, but probably like three inches square. And I've been printing them off at home and they've been great. Um, the label is actually a removable label, which is even better, especially for the customer because it's a pain when you get something and want to take a label off and it just is stuck. So I'm really happy with the quality of the label. So I'm going to do the same label for this, especially since some of the scents are going to match and be the same. So I measured, I think I'm going to do a square on this and have it be two inches by two inches. So what we're gonna do is go into Canva and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the designs that I did for candles. And um, I'm, I try to keep a lot of my packaging a little bit more private to protect myself, but I love Canva and I know that some of you guys are just starting out and affording custom packaging is just not in the cards. So I wanted to show you how I kind of put my own spin on doing some packaging in Canva that doesn't look as DIY, at least in my opinion, as some others. And I am gonna leave a link down below for Canva. If you go use my link, oh, my husband's calling me, hang on. My husband is working tonight, so it's me and Lucy, it's a girl's night, but back to the Canva. I forget what I was saying, um, but I'm going to, I think I was telling you, I'm going to leave a link down below to Canva Pro. So there is a free section of Canva, but a lot, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna show you is part of the Pro, but I'm telling you, if you're using social media, email, anything, the graphics that this creates and that you can create is like 
it's amazing and it definitely I get my money's worth what my candle labels look like up front and some of these graphics are my own so I'm not going to show you everything here but I just wanted to give you a taste of what these looked like so you can see how we're going to create some new ones resized for the room spray we're just going to create a design and I'm going to do a custom size here in inches. I'm going to do a two by two inch square. So here is our square and I am just going to copy over my logo and put that sort of in the center. We'll resize that once we get going a little bit. I'm going to go to actually, no, you know what? We're going to start from scratch. So, one of my favorite things to do is create these kinds of florally graphics. And this one here, I 100% did in Canva. These floral elements are in here and I think they look really pretty. So I have mine saved, I think, into recently used right here. But you could type in um, like flower illustration and these will start to come up and they have some really cool features where if you click on something, it shows recommendations. So then you can go in here and see all, and you can see how you can start to really find ones that, that you like and resonate with you and go from there. So I'm going to use the elements that I had saved here. And this was one of them. And so what I'm gonna do just to start is enlarge it and place it a little bit here. You can tilt and I'm gonna go and change the color. So obviously we're, let's try to make it pink and we're gonna do another one here. And I'm just gonna start to fill in all the space. Don't worry if you're covering things like this yet because we are going to fix that later. And I loved when I did that sort of dual color here. So let's say we need like a blue. Let's say we're going to do something super bright and fun. I'm just doing this to show you an example. I'm not actually making this one for myself yet. But so you have this. Um, and then how you get this sort of watercolory look is play with the opacity 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 whatever and you can see here you can go all the way low you can go super light you're gonna have to play with your printer i originally had it down here around the 20 mark thinking it looked great and then when it printed it was way too muted so i found that more of the 50 range is better and you can see the difference between here like this color looks much different and much more feminine pretty pastel light all that stuff and you can actually just start typing in your number here and you might not have the same opacity depending upon the colors that you're using you might actually want this blue to be even a little bit less and you'll just have to play around with it and print some samples but hypothetically here is your label now you may want to fill in a little bit more and you could do that. You could actually fill in the background here um, and make it sort of a different color. Uh, printers, are, if you're printing it from home, I found it that dark colors don't really work well. So let's just keep this white for now. And then I'm going to just copy over this, put it there and then We'll just have to name this room spray and it is going to be four ounces. I also love doing, you could do different patterns. So I think with the, let's, let's type in tropical pattern and see what comes up. So you could do something like this and go there and change the color. Let's say, let's go with some greens here. I don't know why. I always feel like palm leaves need to be green. Maybe not neon green. Um, 
There we go. That one looks cute for now. And then let's put this on top of it and see what that looks like. Fill that in. I kind of like those colors, but I don't love how dark it is. And we'll put that in the back so that these leaves come through really strong. And we might change these a little bit. And there you go. You have another label and you can just copy this over. Same deal here. Again, you're going to want to print these out and make sure that it's you can still see it, that the colors look right. So it might actually, to me here, this looks like it's a little bit too saturated, but it might look much different when you print it. And if you don't like that look, you can take that away and that's a little bit more light and airy. I'm telling you guys, this Canva Pro is so useful and yeah. So the really good thing about these is I can actually do all of this and here's a fun little tip. And when you see the crown here, that's Canva Pro. So you won't be able to do this if you don't have the Pro subscription. But I can redesign all of these right now to be two by two. And I'm going to say copy and resize and watch this. It literally just made these all two by two. So I now have all my labels in the right format for my room spray. All I have to do is change this to the room spray, which we did over here. And we're good to go. I hope you guys found some tips with Canva super useful. If you don't use it, definitely go and just check out the free version and play around with it. I just found that when I was looking for things that I wanted, they were all under the pro and so it was worth the payment. I am gonna leave a link down below um, for my affiliate link if you are interested in doing Canva Pro. Um, yeah, so I am going to wrap things up because it was so easy. I feel like my room spray labels are done. I ordered my labels from online label, so they should be here next Tuesday. And I'm going to then print these out and maybe play with the opacity like I was showing you guys just to get them like really perfect. But I think these pretty floral labels are gonna be super cute on the room spray and I just can't wait. So until then, I will be using I will be using this one, which I'm getting a bad addiction to. It smells so good. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. As always, I'm just going to get on the couch and snuggle Lucy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.